Okay, I'm gonna do another video. My last video, we explored this neighborhood that is west of Ridgeview. So right now, this is actually Northwood. Here on the right. Oh, actually, you know what? I think this should still connect to 116th. I'm gonna go to 116th, and if you remember, there was an adjacent neighborhood that we took to uh, took when we crossed Ridgewood from that neighborhood, going east. I'm gonna go back to that point, or actually we should build it left here. So I'm just gonna take a left on here. And let's see what road is this. Oh, this is Northwood and Northwood. Okay. Northwood and Ridgewood, okay. Anyway, I'm gonna take a right and we're gonna take a left at 116th. I guess it's not exactly at the road that I thought it was relative to where we were before, but this should be 116th, I think, and we can take a left here. Yep. I'm going to explore this neighborhood over here as well, which is adjacent to this, just on the other side of Ridgewood. We already found that there were purple lights, basically where you would expect them, minus maybe at the point where you would leave on the north end of the neighborhood. But I already showed you what's to the north on 100, I'm sorry, on Ridgewood near College Boulevard. Basically, there's no way out of that. If there are a bunch of people standing on those ledges, they have a clear view of you on the road. There's just, you're not getting out of it. Okay, this says no outlet here, so I'm gonna quick take a left onto Birch from 116th. Explore this dead end here. That's not even an LED light. This is not even an LED light, and we should be pretty close to the end here. Yep. Okay. Come out here and look at that freaking area. Don't just believe, don't just take my word for it. Look at it though, and when you see it, I think you'll pretty much you'll be probably satisfied with what I'm saying. I don't think there's any way to freaking leave from over there if they're doing the same things at the same time. I don't know if they would do the same things at the same time, though. And I'm not sure how much it would matter or why they would care about 119th from Sunset that much, like taking 118th Street and getting out on Sunset and then going over to 119th. But they do care about that with the lights for some reason, okay? Yeah, here, this is the no outlet here to the right. So we're gonna look at this one real quick. Oh, I could have shown you the map, I guess. I kind of want to do that. So when we get to the end of this dead end, I'll show you where we're at. Probably really helpful. Because you otherwise you're just watching this and you're like, I don't know where this guy's going. Um, that's why I do the annotations, but if I can do this now, that really helps. But I was using my phone, and I'm still am using my phone, so I didn't really have a way to show that to you, but now I do. Okay. So right now, okay, so this is Ridgeview here. We went through, we explored that dead end, we came back down, and now we're in this dead end. So I'm going to go all the way to the edge here, look at these two dead ends, come back, loop through, actually, go up and down, and do that probably. Okay. All right. And I said I was at 116 before, so you can find that on a map. Checking all the dead ends. I still think that they put in dead ends where they want to put it, guys, and they they want to hide the lights. If you don't think those two things together matter when they say that they're just a factory defect, I don't know what to tell you, man. I don't know whoever you are. I'm looking for a sign of intelligent life here, guys. If you see these videos, what's wrong, guys? What do you think they're trying to do? think that they want to kill us, okay? It's, they should never have that kind of, they should never have that kind of power. If that's, 
if they're just lying about SARS-CoV-2 sequences and they're doing that as a freaking whole world and they're lying to us for some reason, maybe there's a different pathogen instead and then they want to talk about war with each other, I don't fucking like that guys, I do not like that that's not, they should not have that much power that's absolutely un-American for damn sure guys to have, to have the rest of the world be able to look like our enemies and for our country to be able to make excuses for stuff for why they want to do stuff here and also not really tell us what the real pathogen is they could easily just make one up guys that doesn't really spread and kill lots of people too and say it's really bad and then use containment measures to kill the rest of us at the same time I mean I don't see how you don't see that as a problem that's that's beyond communist guys that's really fucked up that's basically it could be totalitarian for a short period of time they could blame another country for it maybe and say oh they had hypersonic kind of or ufos remember the pentagon the ufos they they're acknowledging ufos now and the soviets even saw some of the same features on ufos that were the same from what i saw in a video i don't even know what's credible and not credible but if you think about it that leaves the possibility open to people anyway how do they know for sure there's too much of that going on guys and they still censor us when we want to talk that's not acceptable that's absolutely unacceptable guys people need to get their head out of entertainment they need to start researching and then they need to realize how bad it really is censorship wise and they need to stand up and get out in the street and protest or something or go to the white house and protest it's absolutely ridiculous guys that they have that much power and we don't we're dead guys we're dead if we don't fucking get up and and say hey look we're standing up for our rights here you cannot you cannot undermine our freedom of information and you cannot take things away from us like that hell no uh-uh no freaking way guys care what their freaking excuse is if you look at if you've worked in enough jobs that involve the federal government at all like where they make rules for how you have to do your job you would know you really wonder when they mean what they're what they say like what are they are they just blackmailing people so they have control and making us they still have to do it the wrong way if they're those kinds of people i don't trust them at all guys i don't trust them I don't trust what they say about other countries even if they're not going to even let us know. I don't necessarily trust the other countries either. I might trust some of the populace. It's absolutely good to do your own research and be able to share that with people. If you can't do that, there's no reason to think that they're not going to get rid of a bunch of us. Okay, this is Penrose that I'm at right now. So, on the map, I'm pretty sure I'm like right there, like between those two restaurants and hotels at that intersection right there. So I'm gonna go back down and then keep going, go up um, and check out that dead end, I think. Oh, that's no outlet ahead of us. I don't know how long of an outlet that is though. Okay, so there's a very, very deep, aw, oh, you may only have seen it for a second. Very, very deep purple, small puncture with kind of light there. I don't know if it's important or not, but I'm making a note of that. It's almost five o'clock. I think I'm gonna get to see all the areas that I wanted to see. I don't think that it, I would just be having comments that I have on my videos either, guys. It's I don't think that people see it. We're the right people. So pretty soon here, 
I don't give a shit. I'm gonna, I will go door to door and I will hand people what I have to fucking say. I don't care. I don't care because I know what they're doing. Reasonably, within a reasonable amount of confidence, weighed against what's what's responsible uh, for a government that cares about us, that doesn't plan on getting rid of us. It's I'm pretty sure, guys, that it's important for people to know what's going on here. I don't give a shit. I don't care if they want to kill me. I'm going to fucking tell other people about it because it doesn't really matter then, right? Everybody, almost everywhere, all the cities that I've seen almost, I'd say at least, let's put it this way, at least half the cities have purple street lights, And I don't know of any exceptions to where they actually still are doing the same kind of thing. This is just a little more difficult to figure out. And they're telling us it's a factory defect and they're deleting my comments when I try to prove something on stuff where people are already interested in the topic I'm watching a newscast and they're deleting my comments on it. It's not okay. That's absolutely not okay. Okay, so I gotta take a right. So we went to the left there. I gotta take a right. I don't think that I saw this one here. Do I expect to see one here? No, I don't but it's important to prove that it's not there. It's important to prove the specificity of how they're using these lights. Although, this actually is a defective light, I think. Okay. So I was incorrect here. I'm pretty sure that that's actually a defective light. And stopping here for one moment. I'm gonna prove it, actually. I'm gonna go to the end of this block. I guess it's not necessarily that unintelligent to put it there. It's not in the cul-de-sac though, right? But I would say this, that's not very far away from the actual road, 116th street either. It's kind of funny that I didn't expect to see one there and there's one there. Okay, I don't care. I'm gonna put it on the freaking map. I don't lie. I'm not gonna misrepresent it. That took me by surprise a little bit. percent sure but let's just find out real quick and I can prove to you whether it is or not so I'm gonna stop right here I think it is I'm gonna take my other little camera here as soon as I find it where I can zoom in on it and prove it Icon camera here. Oh, that's no good. Oh, that sucks, guys. I don't know if I have to put batteries in the thing or what. I don't care. I think I can still prove it this way, though. All right, let me find out myself real quick. I'm pretty sure that it is. Yep. There's one LED light. One LED on it is defective. I have no idea how to prove this to you guys. I can zoom in on it. I can see if this trick works. Oh, 
Oh, you can see it. See it? That's a reflection, though. So the light is, it's an upside down re reflection, basically, of it. See the one LED? So that's a defective light. Unfortunately, I'm actually rather disappointed that my camera is not on here. I don't know if I have to change the batteries, or if it leaks, or what. Because I also had the same problem last time. It's possible. Actually, I can't figure that one out. That's weird. Maybe the batteries are just really freaking loud. That I got, or what? Okay, so we have one here. Zooming back out. And we are right somewhere around here. Oops, we're somewhere around the end of my finger. So there is this road. There's a dead end there. There's a this is in the dead end. However, you could actually you still might be too close to it. You could theoretically go around and go up. I don't know. I'm guessing that's within range though. I don't think they would just set this up accidentally. From what I've seen from the last 19 months, it's to stop people from leaving cities. So, all right, not very far from 116th, as you can see. Later, I'm going to measure that distance on a map from that point right there, that intersection. It's probably not very far. I think it might be over 500 feet though. Um, let's see. So coming out of here, there is a dead end we already looked at before when I showed you the map the first time in this neighborhood. Um, I'm gonna go, okay, we're pretty much on the next page now. So after this point, I'm gonna take the very next left after I take a left onto uh, Penrose again, which we already did take down here. So that part's gonna be redundant, but after that though, it's not. And I'm gonna start looking at call this X. I don't need to take, take the first right after there, but I'm gonna go to West 113th Terrace for sure. And um, I'm gonna keep zigzagging basically. It's a little more complicated than that, though. It's not just a bunch of dead ends. They got a loop, so I gotta kind of think about that. Oh, I can show you, though. That's what we're gonna see in a little bit there. All right. Okay, to the left there's that dead end. I could look at the dead end just in case we missed something, but I think it's so short that I don't think we missed anything. Um, yeah, I'll just probably prove it to you guys. Taking the left here. Okay, we do have that though. Looks like that other one's shining up in the sky, so I'm pretty sure this is something over there. Okay. Well, there's the other way around as well, I guess, so I don't know. I don't know if it really matters. Depending on whether the distance of that light matters from the other intersection there. Or it's rounded. So I'm taking a left here. I see something blue reflecting off of this car. Oh, there's a blue light over here at least. 
gosh, see how they freak, see how much of a freak job this is though, guys? For someone trying to see where the blue lights are. If they believe in the blue lights, then they're like, oh, I guess, uh, I guess it's not. I give up, right? I'm pretty sure the purple street lights though, there's, there's no way out of it, guys, that they did that on purpose. There's a lot of confusion. I've seen a lot of attempts to confuse. more than just I'm not just talking about this I'm talking about like the kinds of places they put the purple street lights where you could also make another pattern out of it they want to confuse people you guys they want to confuse you if you care about it I've even seen them on the same streets the same named kinds of streets but in different places that are you know just tens of miles from each other and I think that it's on purpose. Just to confuse. Okay, this is the third house here. It's green. That is across from there. I don't know if it even matters or not. But that does definitely look like something that's a pattern from what I've seen. Okay. There's a dead end. Whether it matters or not though, I don't know. Okay, so I don't know how far to go on the, uh, let me just come up with the plan here real quick. Actually, I never took, I'm gonna do a U-turn, basically if I take this, let's see. So right now, we are, oops, we're right there in the middle. We just went through that dead end and now we can go up and down and go over, I guess. And go in a loop and go down and go over. I'm gonna try to read it. We're not supposed to be the enemy, guys. We're not supposed to be confused by them, at the very least, if you think about it that way. Well, I'm just not sure. Well, you should be sure about something. They want to confuse us. Okay, so looking, actually, I can still come back up that road. So we're at Penrose now. Looking down Penrose, I guess, that's what we see. Okay, and then now, if I'm not wrong, but we're not. We go straight, we can go all the way up to uh, college, I think is what it is next. And we'll come back to that point later. So. Okay, so now I'm at 113th and 111th Terrace on 112th Street. Okay. So I'm gonna go back down through that loop though. I'm gonna go in a little loop here. So we're going to the left first, and we'll come right back to this. We're gonna go in a circle, basically. Let's make sure we get all these little street lights over here. Okay, now we're at 113th, which is... Yeah, that's where we want to take a look. 
there's this loop here. Did we take this loop? I think we took this loop. All right, sorry guys. Oh, this looks like a dead end. Oh, I see. I admit, I didn't see the dead end right away. Okay, so this is that dead end. I think I'm proving my point in this neighborhood even, guys. That other light is down there. It's not far from the way to get into here and to leave. Remember college, if you drive on college and you go westward or even try to turn right into Ridgewood, you are presented with that construction area with all those freaking ledges that I talked to you about. Don't forget that. It's kind of concerns me too because I see a lot of this right now and I wonder, what if that construction project ends? Are they just gonna do something different or is this set up for about now? To me, it looks like we're kind of getting close to that alignment of where things are lined pretty well with purple streetlights and with construction, both. Which I didn't always, I don't think I always saw that before, but I did notice that they were construction and road work were in important areas. Okay, actually, I'm gonna have to also go down, back down on Penrose, because I didn't get what's to the right. I don't think I, I don't think anything special is there, but I didn't notice anything, at least. But we're gonna take a right now. So on the map, I'll show you the map again. We are right in the middle there. And we're gonna go up, go up that way, go down, somehow turn around and go up and look in the cul-de-sacs, in some order or another, look in those two, and then we're at college, right there. It should be college, right? Yeah, college. But remember though, they're doing something here, and there's so many areas they can hit people from on those ledges. It's ridiculous, guys. It's a fucking, it's not just a firing squad, it's like five of them, guys. If they had as many people up there as they could have. Whether it's drones or humans, whatever it is, up there. If there was something up there, it. What kind of signal there might be in those areas that's different than the purple streetlights, I don't know. But it's not an impossibility. Just. If you've seen enough, you know the simplest explanation already, I think. How they worked out some of the details, I don't know. Okay, this should be on Penrose, and we are on Penrose. Okay, good. All right, so now I'm doing a U turn. I'm turning around here. I'm going back up. We will explore these dead ends now. So I've had a complete picture of this neighborhood. So far, we've only found one defective light with what it's just one defective LED. But the location of that light is not far from 116th Street if you wanted to go south. Where you would go from there though, I'm not 100% sure. Um, I didn't really think that one out much because there's that blue light also. I don't know. I have to look at the map. Let's see if there's another way. Like, had they gone past that little, that slightly defective light, would there be a way for them to go somewhere without the really blue light? Is what I'm trying to say. Well, maybe they can go to the right, actually, though. Even from this neighborhood, though, I don't know. Right now. I'm not looking at a map, so... Well, not looking at like a large enough map, I should say. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so there's no outlet here. I think we came here from the left side. We're at 111 Terrace right here. felt 
to be a dead end. You're just double checking this map. I'm gonna stop here for just one second. Here to make sure. Yep. So we can't. We don't need to go straight. There are two more dead ends that we're gonna explore north of here. Like I thought. I just want to make sure. Because we came here on that other road up there ahead of us. So we're gonna take it right. We are right there, and now we're going to go up and we're going to look at these two, and that's college right there. Like it's inside of their house. Hmm. Like lines of all these, at least two lines of them. This block over here. It's probably not the greatest time. Really I've at least gotten two neighborhoods done here. That's for sure. Um, then from here, I'm going to consider what I want to do next if I'm going to explore some other neighborhoods or not um, or what so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna stop right here and end this video we made it to the 30 minute mark too so that's about right anyway okay good